This is a quick uh, overview of the syllabus and course calendar for Education 111. All of the instructor information is located at the top of the syllabus. Please note that you can uh, call or text me and send me email at any time and I will respond as soon as I can. Also, there's a link here to our Facebook group, which is a closed group, and our course website that is outside of D2L and only should be used if you have trouble accessing our course on D2L. It's sort of our backup. This course is Fundamentals in Early Care and Education, and the course description from the catalog is listed here. Please note that this course has 10 required hours of observation at a star three or four center. Uh, failure to complete those on time would mean failing our course. The required text for the course is listed. This is a custom edition for Hack. If you have the third or fourth edition, you're welcome to use it, but please know that the page numbers will not correlate with the page numbers that I have used in the presentations. Our course goals are listed along with the assignment and NACI standard that, that they are aligned with, and you can read through those on your own. Also for this course, we have a lot of different activities. We have 12 different weeks of participation at 10 points each for a total of 120 participation points. These points are very important because it allows me to see how you're interacting with everything we're learning in the course since we are virtual and they're very important. You have an advisor assignment to complete throughout the course worth 100 points, a theorist activity, a guidance article, a parent newsletter, you will create your philosophy of education, uh, complete an advocacy project, complete a lesson plan. You will have five different observation assignments and an observation reflection. You will create your professional portfolio, complete mandated reporter training, and do a final activity. This course has a total of 1,020 points, and here's our grading system for this point, for this course. A couple things important. First of all, students must be compliant in all four areas to continue in the course after the first week. These documents should be uploaded to the Complio account by the end of the first week, as noted on your syllabus. Failure to become compliant will mean you are dropped at the end of the first week. Please contact me if you have any problems obtaining this. Uh, the directions are on D2L. If you send me communication, whether it be a phone message, a text, or an email, please make sure you have Education 111 virtual in the tagline or somewhere in your message so I know who, what course I am uh, responding to. If you've never worked through D2L before, you will wanna do the student orientation located at your homepage. And if you have any trouble, please contact the help desk for technical difficulties. This is a professional course and it, it, you are going to be a teacher, which is a very professional position. And I want you to become familiar with writing and speaking professionally. So please make sure that when you leave a message, you type an email or you submit a project that you're using proper spelling, grammar, and punctuation. With this being a seven week course, it's important that you're checking in twice a week. This course is arranged with new coursework every Monday morning and that work will be due on Wednesday at 11.59. And then we'll have new coursework launched on Thursday morning, and that will be due Sunday night. Please make sure that you're checking in twice a week and also checking in on our course Facebook page for updates. If you fail to turn in your work on time, I will accept work. I will accept late work 10% off for the first week, 20% off for the second week, and after that, it won't be accepted unless we've already had a prior arrangement. So the bottom line is, if you're going to have trouble turning your work in on time, something comes up, please notify me before the due date and we can work out a plan. Um, withdrawing from the course can be done before 70% of the uh, coursework has been completed. Um, that is on April 15th for our course. And if you have any questions about this, you can visit this link and it has our deadlines. Also, if something comes up over the course of the semester that you will not be able to finish your coursework on time, we can give you an incomplete if you've completed 80% of the coursework with a passing grade and you could finish at a uh, predetermined due date for you. So if anything comes up over the course of the semester, an illness, um, an injury, something with work, please let me know. 
If you have an accommodations letter, I will be happy to meet whatever your learning needs are. Please submit me your accommodation letter right away and I will work with you to create a plan to best meet your learning needs. Within our course, we have an academic honesty policy. This is the same as all of HACC. If you plagiarize an assignment, you will fail it. And if you plagiarize twice, you'll fail the course. The same is true with cheating. Also, for your field placement hours, you must log them into your te teacher signature sheet in pen and they must be signed. Misrepresentation of your hours will mean you fail this course. So please make sure you are honest about the time you're spending in the field. The course schedule is as follows. We're starting this week with part A. Part A, again, is going to run Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then your assignment listed on the far right side is due Wednesday at midnight. And then on Thursday, we launch part two of our week, or part B, and that will be due Sunday night. Uh, so that's how our courses run, part A and part B. Whatever our topic is, is listed in the big area. Anything you have for an assignment is listed on the far right. Also, please note that your presentation will have the very last slide of your presentation will have everything you need as a little checklist for the week. So please make sure that you're checking that last slide to know that you've turned everything in. Anytime that I introduce a new project, it will be listed here with a little sticky note, and that just kind of gives you a heads up it's coming. Anytime anything is due, it is listed in green underneath your week with a due date. So we have our compliance due at the end of the week, as noted twice already. Um, and just moving through, we introduce lots of projects and lots of things are due. So please make sure that you check out this course calendar. This course calendar is also listed on D2L in the calendar section and it will match it. If you have any questions, please let me know right away and have a great semester.